Okay. Now the next and last option I want to show you in the render is selected media items. If we choose this, any items we select are going to be rendered. So let's close this and go down here to our filtered drums. Make this a bit bigger. And let's cut these up based on the transients. Let's go right about here and split it. Here, here. Now let's say we wanted to export each one of these items as their own file, maybe for effects for a video game or something similar. We could select them from here to here, go to rendering, and choose selected media items. Now each one of these pieces or items is going to get their own file. And we can change the output format to MP3, change the bitrate to 192. I'm going to create a separate file for each item that we just cut up. In this case, it's six files. And let's name it based on the project and the item. Let's also use the tempo. So we'll render it. Now each one of these items has its own file. So it's a great way of cutting up loops or samples and creating many files based on them. Like for video games or creating a sample library or just about anything. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you how to save and recall presets for rendering in Reaper.